This is just a quick overview of William Turner, and in particular rain, steam and speed, um, just in preparation for your exam. Um, so Turner was a romanticist back in oh, 1830s, 1840s. Um, loved to depict the beauty of nature, light, colour, energy. Um, it was a time when it was the introduction of steam engines with mostly trains and boats, and for the first time ever, horses weren't um, the required transport, and all this modern technology was a real positive, getting people to go from one place to another. So he was quite positive about all this. The Industrial Revolution was quite an exciting time for England at the time, and um, he was right at the forefront of that. So Turner lived in the age, um, I lived in London, right in the heart of it, um, would have been pretty accustomed to um, seeing the boats going up and down the Thames. So this painting is of the Thames, um, which is the main river that runs through London. Um, two bridges here, you can see one there in the distance, and also this main one. Um, and showing the train coming towards us. Everything's obviously quite um, impressionistic, very loose brush strokes. But you can even see a little boat here, just in the um, bottom part of the picture. So I've written purpose up here. Um, in the top. Um, I've just already told you how Turner was very positive towards um, railways and the advent of new technology. So it really comes down to how you can talk about this in um, and his technique, his style, in this positive way. With respects to style, Turner was a romanticist, so you should really look that up, find out what their main focus was. Um, his technique is also one, if you put in Turner technique, you're going to get pages and pages of information on how he was able to create his vortex, how he was able to use all these warm colours against the cool and create this real swirl of energy. Um, this down here, um, the really strong brush strokes, even though a bit distorted with this pixel, but um, he was also able to create a real strong energy in his artwork too, by the use of the warm against cool. Um, he's also got, um, with respect, respects to the technique composition, um, uses blacks in here, um, which is not that common for romanticists or anyone, but the big black part really makes it a major focal point, something I'll talk about in a minute. Movement's really um, prominent in this artwork. You can see by Turner's rapid brush strokes throughout the sky creates that real energy and that wispiness in looks almost like the rain or steam drifting up creates a real movement through the clouds. You can also see um, the train coming towards us and even the railway tracks coming in towards us really brings us into the piece and also creates a lot of movement for our eyes bridge here in the foreground, oh, sorry in the midground, also directing our eyes along that bridgeway and towards the start of this train where our eyes again move towards um, the front of the picture. Colour plays a big part in any artist's work. Turner's definitely no exception. And if you look up his style technique on the web you've got to find pages of how he uses colour. In this piece, no exception, he is, uses his warm and cools um, quite famously through here. He also uses real strong, intense colour in certain parts and yet lets our eyes drag along into these open areas, which is uncommon for a lot of artists, but he would use that big swirling sky just to let the viewer's eyes dance around. Um, his Use of the black bridge is pretty important in this piece. You can see how he really wants to make that train a focal point. He surrounds it all with a lot of energy and the train moving forward with this big dark shape coming at us really wants us to see that that train is important to the piece. This is only a quick review but shape is probably another one that I would look at. You've got the archways very calmly sitting in the back. Obviously it's to try and just depict 
a normal bridge, but you also have this semicircle shape, which is really different to the swirls and random, almost expressionistic light that's going around the artwork, and this really strong bridge structure, strong diagonal shapes coming at us, really creates a focal point for that train, and also um, makes the advent of technology even more superior where it is structure versus nature. So shape does play a part. Summing up as always, Turner has tried to create a really energetic positive piece with um, the advent of trains. So look at his style, look at his technique. In the exam you will be asked potentially these things and you also need to know how to discuss the elements and principles that he's used within this piece to make it look so positive. And good luck. Um, this artwork is Dudley, um, 1832 by Turner. In the essay you do have to talk about, in the exam, you do have to talk about two artworks by each of the artists. I've decided on this one because it again depicts industrialisation almost at its heart. Dudley's a little town um, they're very much known for being at the centre of the Industrial Revolution. Turner went there and was inspired by it. The painting is not one of his best, however it is very much of the industry at work, people working um, there and there's a lot of smoke coming out of pretty much every single chimney. A mysterious light comes, you can't actually tell whereabouts the light source is coming from everywhere there seems to be a light almost internally coming out of all these different places light here lights coming out of the smoke areas so there is a real mystery to the piece Dudley Castle sits in the back again that idea of structure and history comes into the painting Turner was we could probably see this as a negative piece, but Turner was very much in favour of industrialisation and saw this as such an energetic, new, interesting place to paint. And much like Rain, Steam and Speed, um, felt it was something that the world should see and something that he was quite proud of with England. So when you're analysing, all you need to do is refer to this image to show that you've understood two different artwork by Turner and potentially refer to some of the elements and principles similar to Rain, Steam and Speed just like movement, shape, space, colour and good luck.